society of Grand Rapids. If you've driven in Muskegon lately, you may have noticed it's a bit more colorful out there. Our Savannah Fish gives us a closer look at the newly completed murals on the rail bridges there. I think that especially public art that's out in the, in the public venue has the ability to, to unify a community. And that's what the new rails murals are doing in Muskegon. The four collections done by different artists greet people on Seaway Drive between Sherman and Broadway and also between Lakedon and Hackley. One of the artists, Jimmy Cobb, uh, we, he and I were talking one day and he said, you know, this is what we got to do to make the city a gallery. And I told him I was going to use that line because I thought it was great. We're going to make Muskegon a, a gallery of art and there are no admission tickets required. Fellow artists Ed Ehrman, Ashley Nash and Dan Parker were the other people chosen to contribute out of the 16 entries received. Just that's all I need for you to do is just go underneath and get a little smile out of it. Parker, who is a self-taught artist from Muskegon, created the mural entitled Happy, which pays tribute to the diversity of the city, featuring people from the community. Different ages, occupations, um, you know, everything and just I took a lot of pictures of a lot of people and just narrowed it down as much as I could to, you know, I need another thousand feet, I think, to represent everybody, which would be good if you could find that. Um, but yeah, that's it, just happy, you know, drive under it and get a smile. The mural project was made possible thanks to a crowdfunding effort that raised 50 grand, along with an additional 50,000 from the Michigan Economic Development Corporation to add to the Muskegon City Public Art Funds. A local businessman in Norton Shores was ultimately the inspiration for the idea after working for years with the track's owner and user to clean up the area. And then when I when he finally succeeded and got, it got that done, I said, well, as long as you're doing that, we might as well put art up there. Yeah, and the way they closed the lanes down and, and accommodated it, it was it made it pretty easy, really. With the help of special equipment, the various pieces on the overpasses were able to become a reality, adding splashes of color for all to enjoy. It's, it's an esteem building uh, opportunity for people to be proud of their community and proud of this place. you got to pay attention. There's so much happening in Muskegon, it's hard to keep up with it anymore. In Muskegon, Savannah Fish, Fox 17 News. Some beautiful artwork. That rails project is actually the fourth one completed through the Muskegon City Public Art Initiative. They are planning to finish two other projects this year, a sculpture for the new convention center and another mural that's set to go 